Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Hope everybody had a great week. Hope everybody's still staying safe out there. Today I got a wild one for y'all. I don't know if many of y'all have seen these or even heard of these before, but this is a Harlequin Sweet Lips, or as other people like to call them, the Clown Sweet Lips or the Spotted Sweet Lips. Now, these guys act kind of like a grouper, but they're actually in the grunt family. So starting right into it, prices on them, you'll normally spend about $50 for them as a juvenile. Tank size, at the very end, you need a 180 gallon at least, a good six foot long tank because these guys do get huge. Now, if you do get one as a juvenile and you expect to upgrade your tank, I would at least get a 55 gallon for them as a juvenile. But I'm telling you, they need a lot of room whenever they get bigger. Hair level, tend to be expert only. A lot of people have a big problem with them feeding. A lot of times they don't do well going into the tank and feeding like frozen cubes and food that isn't live. So a lot of times people will feed them things like ghost shrimp and they love them. And it's like feeding a lionfish. Sometimes you got to keep feeding those live little bitty like minnows to them. And then eventually they'll start getting used to you and feeding on other things. So that's the main thing that would make them expert only. And then the other thing would be having such a big tank. You have to have a large tank to keep these guys because they do get huge. Kemper, they're actually a very peaceful fish. The only time you'll ever see them being aggressive is when they're eating. They're always going to be at the top, first ones to eat every time. So make sure your other fish are getting fed too. Reef compatibility. So they do not mess with your corals. They're actually found in reefs in the wild. They're not going to mess with that kind of stuff. But the problem is they do see shrimp and other small fish as prey, especially when they get bigger. So you definitely have to watch out for that. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. pKH 8 to 12. pH 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. All that's basic there. Max size, they can get a whopping three feet long. I mean, that's huge, especially for a fish you're keeping in your tank. And you can expect them to at least get half that within the first couple years of their life. So a lot of times putting them already in a really big tank will help you a ton because they can grow really fast. Colors on them, they start out with this brown and white pattern almost looking like a clownfish. But eventually, as they do get older, you'll see them start to change and the brown starts to take over a lot. And then it's like their body turns white and they have black spots all over them. They almost don't even look like the same fish. It's really cool. Diet, they are a carnivore. Like I said, it's one of the most difficult things is feeding them. Make sure whoever you're getting them from, ask them what they've already gotten him to eat. The ones we've taken care of at the shop have actually done really well about eating. We've just been feeding them different kinds of shrimp, different kinds of clams, or little pieces of squid, and they've done really good about eating it. So definitely try everything you can to make sure this guy gets eaten, and sometimes you might have to feed him some live food to get him going. And also, like I said, as they do get older, they will see shrimp and other fish as small snacks for him so make sure to put him with fish he's not going to see as a snack origin they do come from the indian ocean and compatibility just ask these grunt fish normally are in a pack they're in like a school swimming around in the ocean so i would not be surprised if multiples in a tank would work fine together the only thing is eventually they get big so if you get three of them you're about to have three fish in your tank that are two feet long swimming around so they're going to cause a tank to be really dirty unless you have a really good filtration system on it. So feed them really good, but also make sure you're remembering, hey, I might need to be doing some water changes or changing them filters out because they are heavy eaters. I know a lot of people say they do a lot better whenever they're fed multiple times a day, kind of like chromies. They like to eat a little bit, but a lot of time during the day. These guys, it's almost like you have to feed them a lot, a lot of times out of the day. <laughs> Make sure you have a really good rock structure for them. You'll see in the video, a lot of times they like to hang back in the cave a little bit and kind of poke their head out and then swim in between the little caverns. And then other times they'll be completely out swimming around. So make sure you have plenty of options for him to be comfortable in, in your tank. You also don't want to put him with really aggressive fish because he isn't much of one to protect himself. He is a very peaceful fish for 
a large fish that he is, he actually is not that aggressive. So make sure you don't put him in there with something that's going to beat him up. Now you will notice whenever they're young, they swim just like a clownfish. They have that little wavy motion going on. And they actually say they do that in order to deter predators from getting them whenever they are young. And as they get older, they tend to just swim normally like a fish. It's wild. Other than that, I think that pretty much hits on everything you need to know about Harlequin Sweet Lips and how you can maybe think about getting one in your tank. The main things is just you need a big tank. You just can't get away with it. He's going to get huge. He's like those panther groupers that people will buy when they're small and they're cute. And then a year later, they're like a foot long and they're like, well, what do I do with this fish? So make sure you have a plenty of big tank. Make sure you're feeding them a lot and make sure whenever you first get them, your options for live food definitely need to be in there in case he's not much up for the food you're feeding him at first. And then also, make sure you got a good rock structure for him to swim around in. Put him with fish, like I see him in tanks with other groupers, peaceful groupers like the panther groupers and tangs and angels and different fish like that, and they do really well. And I've also seen them in reef tanks because they're not gonna mess with the corals, but it kinda limits you on what fish and creatures you can put in your reef tank if you wanted him in there. Other than that, I think that pretty much hits on everything you need to know to at least get started. If you still want to know some more things on how to take care of them or if he can go in your tank, please shoot down some comments down below. I'd love to talk with y'all and answer your questions. I'm on social media. You can reach me out there. Anything, I'll be there and I can help you out. Hope y'all have a great weekend. I'm glad I got to throw this video out there for y'all, give y'all something new. And make sure to like and subscribe. I got plenty of videos out there. I think we're hitting upwards of almost 200 all about videos. It's crazy. Hope you all have a great weekend again. And I will talk to you all later. See you later.